A lot of problems I see with people. They don't understand how their left arm works in relation to their body. There's a lot of talk about pivot driven swings and one plane swings, which is, you know, pin the left arm across your chest and then just rotate everything together down to the ball. That's an extremely difficult and athletic move to perform and not everybody can do it. That being the case, you need to understand if you're not one of those people that can pin the left arm across your chest and get your body to open all the way to here to get the club to the ball, you need to understand how the left arm works in the downswing, all right? You hear the term stuck, all right? And usually stuck is associated with, you know, the right arm being behind the body, the hips leading out, the arm getting stuck behind. And that's not incorrect. That is absolutely true. You see people like, like this, and you know, this is a big block or a snap hook. But in the golf swing, there are always many ways to look at this. If, from the t if you're very active with the hips and very active with your turn, if you feel from the top of the swing that your left arm works off your chest, look what it does. It gets the right arm unstuck, all right? And if you're worried about lag and shaft lean, if you're stuck back here, how are you gonna get to the ball with lag and shaft lean? You're gonna end up like this. If from here, you get that left arm working off the chest, look where I get to. Arms forward, out in front of the body, and plenty of shaft lean. If your left arm is pinned across your chest, you're at the mercy of how fast you can rotate your body. All right, you're not taking advantage of the fact that the arms can move faster than the body can. Okay, so if your lower body and torso are moving at maximum speed and your left arm is pinned, that's the only speed you're taking advantage of. But watch how much further forward the club is with the same body rotation if I get the left arm off the chest. If I was a left-handed tennis player and I was hitting a one-handed backhand, how much power am I going to have on a one-handed backhand if I went like this? I'd be lucky to get that sucker to the net, okay? Any of you who have ever watched or played tennis know that a one-handed backhand is a step, a little bit of a pivot, and then the left arm comes off the chest, all right? The golf swing is no different. This is gonna create more power than that. Now, this is gonna sound counterintuitive. A lot of people who have the shanks and the slices, they don't get their left arm off of their chest soon enough. That sounds ridiculous, I get it. But here's what happens. If your left arm is off your body, your body is very reactive. So let's say you went like this. The body's gonna have to go like that, and it will, all right? And there's a big difference between this an over-the-top move. Look at how my arm didn't come off my chest, all right? Whereas if my left arm comes off my chest, I'm gonna be forced to move my hands correctly versus if I go this way, my left arm isn't coming off my chest. So again, this is gonna sound counterintuitive, all right? And it is. But quite often, over-the-top is caused when this arm stays pinned too long and it makes the body want to work like this. Where if you get that left arm off the chest, it'll make the body want to work more like that. Now obviously, this tip and all of the tips I put up are not for every individual. It's up to you to discern which one or two of my videos applies to you. The person that this video is most going to apply to is the person that has the two-way miss of the big blocks and the big pull hooks. That's a person coming too far from the inside, the arms pinned across the chest, body stalls, hands roll. Okay? Most of you are going to benefit from this. All right? 
The other people, these people are kind of stuck too, but it's a different move, is the spin out, all right? The spin out over the top. Getting that left arm off the chest, that's gonna help you as well. So just to give you a demonstration of what these two different moves are gonna look like, I'm gonna hit two really easy shots. The first one, I'm gonna keep the left arm pinned and I'm gonna be a little stuck. I hit that ball almost 45 degrees to the right and the swing probably didn't look all that terrible. But the left arm stayed across the chest too long and I came into it like that. Whereas this one, all I'm gonna do is from right here, get the left arm off the chest, pull the right shoulder out, and I'll get to rotate my arms around my body quite freely. That ball was dead straight. So again, be very, very careful with this. You should know within two or three swings if this tip applies to you. If you have nothing but disaster, find another one of my videos. If the one, within the first two or three swings, you feel a freedom and a club head speed and an efficiency that you've never felt before, this one probably applies to you.